So today I'd like to talk about edge detectors. This is an example of an analog edge detector. You send it an input and then you have another path that has a delayed um, path through it and you feed it into an AND gate or a NOR gate. When you have an, an overlap between these two signals on a transition of a rising or a falling edge, you get a pulse out. This is an example of an edge detector that I thought was very fascinating. This is what they used in the old PDP-1 computers. And this is a sample circuit that I put together. <clears throat> I have a, an RC uh, inverter oscillator here that's operating in the 10 to 16 hertz range with a variable capacitor and a 100 microfarad capacitor. Then I have a transformer and a protection diode hooked up so the current flows between the inverter output stage down to ground and causes a magnetic field that grows and shrinks as the pulses go in. You can see down here that this is the square wave that's being fed into the transformer. On the secondary side of the transformer, the winding is um, having voltages and currents induced into it from the expanding and contracting field from the primary. Um, Transformers only generate electricity on their secondary side when a field is expanding and contracting. So if we look at the, the signal that's on the secondary side of the transformer, you see that there's a, a growing spike, and then when there's a falling edge, there's a negative spike. And so you get this kind of sawtooth effect. What I also have here is a diode, with it, which is shunting one half of the the current to ground, or, or making a path to shunt that to ground. And then I'm restoring it through an inverter so we can see a nice square. The oscilloscope, you can see the, the signals. If I remove the dia, okay, so here's the square wave that is going into the circuit. This is the shunted output of the transformer. And this is the restored edge detection from the, the transformer. I can zoom in a little bit here. You can see we get a single negative pulse each time the magnetic field collapses from this transformer. If I remove the shunt diode from the circuit like this, we can see that we're getting the negative swing, the inductive kick. You can make a falling edge detector by reversing these connections on the secondary. So the ground goes to the top and the output goes to the bottom.